Hi, so in a previous video, which is a swag update, some thoughts on the magnetic effect, I talk about this stuff in terms of the swag generator and talk specifically in terms of the swag generator. But other people have noted, and some friends of mine are already doing experiments on this, the ink will respond to various magnetic fields and various magnetic field designs, and that obviously is really, really interesting. So though in the swag things, I push all about the swag because that's what we're interested in, in this one, I'm just going to talk about the general effect of a magnetic field on this ink and what kind of things might be possible to do with it. Now, it's absolutely fascinating what this does in a magnetic field. And I'm going to show you a couple of, ex uh, a couple of examples with different magnetic fields. Right, people who've watched previous videos of mine will have seen this before. This is a printer's block and the field lines run directly in line that you can see there. So if we put a bit of the ink on it, You can see that the ink reproduces the field lines exactly. Now that in itself is very, very interesting. But if we change that and put in a different magnetic field, then it will change again. And once that dries, those field lines will be permanently set in that ink. <laughs> now that opens up a whole world of possibilities. So there you go, that works really well with uh, permanent magnets for actually directing the ink into uh, to forming different patterns. And I can see no reason why it wouldn't work with electromagnets and solenoids as well to create a whole host of different shapes. Now there's um, so much to do with that, it's actually a bit daunting and really impossible for me to do um, even half the things that that rise, uh, arises in your mind. Because it has an effect on the conductivity and the uh, direction of the conductivity that that will have. So it becomes um, direction dependent, and of course direction dependent things are really, really interesting in terms of heat conduction, in terms of electroconduction, in terms of piece of electri electricity, all kinds of things are direction dependent. Uh, also, you get uh, ideas about diodes here, because diodes are conduction direction dependent. So there's a whole load of things that could be looked into just by manipulating the ink with magnetic fields. Now, lots of people have suggested to me that that would be a way to go, and I haven't had a chance to look at it until now. And having a look at, a look at it, then those guys were spot on. There's just so much that could be done with this, I thought I'd share it with you, and hopefully you found it interesting, and thank you for watching.